Well, not much to be concerned about in the weather tonight, Kevin, but we are talking still about yesterday. Yeah, we certainly are because the damage assessment released by the National Weather Service is actually a full page document here uh, and it can be found on our website uh, or on social media. Um, it was released at 826 this evening by the Weather Service and just a full report uh, from the assessment earlier today and a summation of it here uh, into the night. Uh, basically, bottom line, 95 mile per hour winds were uh, assessed here in the Beulah Bay area, 80 in Hazen. Just by looking at the damage pattern, uh, not necessarily a tornado in these areas, but a funnel cloud four miles west of Stanton was spotted, but that funnel cloud did not make contact with the ground, therefore not a tornado. Uh, so that's the way it looks right now. Just by looking at that damage assessment and the straight line nature of the damage damage and how it blew out away from the downdraft of the thunderstorm. Uh, meanwhile, a brief tornado did touch down one mile south southwest of Wilton in an open field that did not produce any damage and the uh, enhanced Fujita scale rating unknown uh, again because of no damage assessment with that other wind reports again non tornadic but high straight line winds 80 mile per hour winds in the Cross Ranch State Park area 76 northwest of Dickinson. So these storms had very powerful downdrafts associated with them and they they peaked uh, really between about Dickinson and the Beulah Hazen Bay area as they were moving into central North Dakota. Also in Wilton, very heavy rain, sheets of rain, in fact, with gusty winds in excess of 70 miles per hour. And again, a lot of hail associated with these storms. Also in the Golden Valley area, but it did produce a lot of electricity. These storms were powerful in many different ways last night.